Peace and love, strength and honor. Samir Saif, Ontario top team. Pow! Um, I just want to say a couple things uh, to introduce Samir for those of you that haven't met him or trained with him. Um, I met Samir a few years ago. I was doing a, a workshop um, for a couple of guys, John included, uh, at his club in Toronto. Uh, and uh, he was off in the corner and he... Uh, was watching his train and he actually came up to John and asked John to ask me if it would be okay if he joined his training. Um, that's kind of like, uh, that's how humble he is as a person. And uh, I had a chance to roll with him. Um, this was when I was mostly training Nogi and I was, uh, I think I was still a brown belt and I was, you know, regularly tapping out black belts in Nogi. And I rolled with Samir and uh, I was like, wow, this guy's good. And then I found out that he's only a, a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And the reason that he was only a purple belt is, and I won't get into it today, but there's a lot of politics involved, as you guys well know. Um, and so I had an opportunity when I got my black belt to promote Samir to brown belt to kind of avoid a lot of unnecessary politics. And um, when I rolled with him in the gi, I was like, well, if I deserve to be a black belt, this guy deserves to be a black belt, but I can't give him a black belt because you have to be a black belt for a few years before you can get out black belts. Uh, and I told Samir that uh, the day that I'm able to get black belts, I'm getting on a plane and I'm gonna come see you and I'm gonna give you your black belt. And uh, we've kept in touch and uh, I'm obviously still not a second degree black belt. So uh, I was telling him that like, look, it's gonna be six years before I can ever give you a black belt. So uh, I want you to try to find someone that can give you a black belt before I can. And, his response was, well, no, you're like, you've been loyal to me. You've shown me a lot of support. You gave me my brown belt. I'm going to wait. I want to get my black belt from you. I believe in your principles. I believe in Island Top Team Jiu-Jitsu, so I want to represent you. And I was like, well, that's amazing. Uh, and that's the kind of person that he is. Uh, you know, the terms of loyalty and honor and integrity, I've kind of made fun of them in the past because they're used by a lot of douchebags in Jiu-Jitsu to, to, to encourage you to behave and, and, and follow what they say rather than actually follow integrity and loyalty for your own sake. And Samir is one of these incredibly rare individuals that actually represents uh, loyalty and integrity. And um, I'm really honored to have him come join us today. Um, so before he does start teaching though, uh, recently I had a conversation with the guys at Pacific Top Team regarding um, when Shane uh, was ready for his black belt because he'd be ready before I was able to give out black belts. Uh, and I wanted the guys at Pacific Top Team to basically okay Shane's black belt. And I talked to Dave Rothwell, and he said that uh, if I know anybody who's particularly worthy, that they'll sign off on me giving them his black belt. So before we get started, Samir, oh, wow. it's absolutely my honor and privilege to promote you to the rank of black belt. Island top team Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Rob likes it if you cry. I'm a little surprised I managed to get that out without crying. Yeah. So. Wow, brother. Right. That's yeah, momentous. Woo! Uh, if Samir wants to say anything, please do. Uh, you don't mind waiting a couple more minutes before we start training? Never. Yes. That's good. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> you guys can appreciate how tough Jiu Jitsu is. Not, it's not an easy thing that most people quit. And you know, it's, it's not about the belt. The belt just kind of tells you where you are on the journey. And I thought getting to this point would be about me, how many how many people I tapped up. That's what I thought it would be. And I've come to realize it's about how many times I was tapped out. Because it changed. It changed the way I look at everything more than just jiu-jitsu. And having the opportunity to train Professor Roberts 
changed my life. You know, I was so happy that John introduced me to him. And I was just humbled. And I hope you all know what a wonderful human being he is. You know, just to get on the mats with him. And, and generally, you know, I'm pretty good. And this guy was <laughs> heel hooks and reverse heel hooks and leg locks. But there was no malice. And I thought, it's, I want to learn from a guy like that. I want to be mentored by a guy like that that can bring me along on the journey. And uh, I know this is like graduating from, from high school, you know? Like, now I'm just starting to understand the concepts of jiu-jitsu and how it, it affects your entire life. You know, it's, it's a journey. And I traveled to BC to come here, but I'm not travel to China. <laughs> I'll travel to <laughs> wherever this guy is, he's gonna travel and I'm not gonna take too much of your time, but I think that loyalty is something really, really important. It wasn't, it wasn't the black belt, it was, you know, like if I had to wait six years, I would wait six years because I know that's just six more years of, of learning, of, of, of growing, so it's okay. I was, I was in a race before at one time and then I realized, you know what, it's just, and when it happens, it happens. And, and I'm finally here and it's, Pretty hashtag epic moment. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing this awesome moment with me. And I think it's awesome to be here on the beach and the sun and the sand. And, uh, and I hope we have a great day. I know we're going to have a great day. So I'm going to give him one more hug because. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. It's not, it's, it's, I'm not going to save you from the Twizzler, but. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get started? Yes. All right, so take it away, Samir. Peace and love, strength and honor, Samir Saif, Ontario top team, pow!